Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to Rainbow Tarot UK. It's so lovely to have you here. I hope everyone is doing uh, really, really, really well. Um, and today's reading, we are doing, you know, what is your person's deepest desires um, for you and the connection? And also, what's, you know, what's their next move? What's their next intention going forward? So we've got our three groups as usual. We've got part number one which is this lovely pink crystal, and it's called um, Cabalto. I think it's called Cabalto Calcite, so it is actually a calcite, um, or calcite, but it's called Cabalto, I think that's how you pronounce it, or Cabalto Calcite, with a little pink stone. Then we've got the pyrite here, with the tiger's eye, and then we have the labradorite, um, with the little blue stone. So there you go, those are your three groups. Um, as I always say, Go for the uh, pile that's calling to you, the one that you feel intuitively is calling to you the most. That's probably got the messages. There might be more than one pile. Remember, it's general. Just take what resonates. You know, you know how it works. Take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. And it's timeless. So it is literally good for whenever you are finding it. But other than that, I'll see you in your reading. Bye for now. Hey, pile number one, welcome back to your reading, welcome to uh, Rainbow Tarot UK. Um, and in today's reading, we're just going to get straight to it. It's basically, we're doing, aren't we, you know, what is your person's deepest desires for you and the connection, and what is going to be their next move? So I, you came into the reading, I should say, and this beautiful pink crystal, and it's called the Cabalto, or Cabalto, calcite and the key words for that are love emotional healing and compassion i mean this this skirt this this crystal also relates to the, the uh, sign of cancer um so that might mean something to you also might mean something to you if you are a star sign that is ruled by venus because it also relates to venus so i think that's taurus and libra so that might mean something to you as well um so this really is about love, it's about unconditional love, it's about self-love. So it's kind of about, it's about healing, having compassion. So it's kind of love in all its forms, really. So you've also got the little pink stone here. So let's see how that plays out in terms of, it certainly feels like there's a lot of heart here, maybe in this connection. Um, I've also pre-shuffled a couple of oracle cards, so let's have a look at those. Oh, lovely. And again, a lot of pink in this abundance this says abundance so that's all about growth isn't it? abundance it's all about having pl you know plentiful of something and um, there's a lot of pink in here so i feel like this person wants an abundance of love or feels an abundance of love or is looking for a lot of love from this connection or feels a lot of love in this connection um this is i love this card it's just so gorgeous isn't it all these wildflowers here in this meadow um, but it's really homing in on the pink, isn't it? The different shades of pink uh, flowers here. Um, okay, a bit like the pink card that you've got here. With the calcite, the Cabalto calcite. What else have we got? We've got, all oh, disagreements. Agree to disagree. So just for some of you, you might have had a little bit of a... Uh, you might... This, there might be some issues going on in this connection for some of you. You might have been having some arguments or some problems or there might be some issues in it or you might be in separation or something like that. But this person, because it says agree to disagree, I feel like this person wants healing. They want, um, you know, they want to make it up. They want to, they want you to get back on track. They want that kind of heart connection again with you. Um, what is that in the background there? Is that a sheep or is that a horse that I can see there? And again, I don't quite know what that is actually. But anyway, again, this 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 um, this is one of the angel. Oh, I think it's called the Ask the Angel Oracle deck. Um, but don't quote me on that. Um, it's all green, isn't it? Now the heart chakra is pink and green, so it just makes me feel there's a predominance of pink and green in this these just these three cards here. So I feel like if there has been any kind of issue or problem or argument or disagreements in this connection i feel like this person wants healing they want love again in it they want um to return to growth they want to return to building it up again they want to return to good feelings in the connection again i think that's maybe what's going on here i'm just trying to work out how to put these in a better position i might put them up there like that actually 
And then we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our, um, we're gonna get our tarot. Actually, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Sorry about this. <laughs> uh, I'll put it there, that's better. So let's see. Okay, so we're gonna get our tarot. And what I want really initially is to just kind of do a little bit on where you're at in the collection because then that might also help you to know whether this is the right pile for you or whether this sounds like what's going on for you and your person. So, let's go forward, let's get a bit of the idea of the general energy. What is the general energy? What's going on between pile number one and their person right now? Please, can you tell me what is the, the state of play? Queen of Cups. So, what is going on between pile number one and their person right now? We've got here, oh, four of wands. What is going on between pile number one and their person? Ace of Swords. Okay. At the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Wands. So I feel like for a lot of you in this pile, um, it might be that you're just asking. Um, because the Nine of Wands is a little bit of a wounded warrior. Uh, a little bit of somebody having to stand up and defend themselves. And it goes with a disagreement. So for some of you, I feel like you might be in a connection with this person where there might have been a little bit of a disagreement or some issues. And you're just wondering about what you know what is their um deepest desires for you and you know what is their next move going to be so if you've had a little bit of an issue or a little bit of an argument maybe you've broken up or there's been a bit of a split or something like that um and both of you are a little bit defensive a little bit um guarded with each other um you know there's been a bit of a spanner in the work something like that I feel like this person, the, the way it is at the moment, there is definitely love in this connection. It's a bit like what I was saying before. There is definitely still love. Because central to it, you might even be married or in a committed relationship with this person and you've had just had a little bit of a, a set to or something's happened uh, to make you question it. Because the Four of Wands is a sort of marriage card. It's a card of commitment. It's a card, it's, a, it's the 11-11 sign, so it has a twin flame soulmate energy to it. Um, so some of you might actually be married, committed, engaged in a long-term situation with this person. Um, and, um, you know, they feel that. They feel that sense of commitment to you. The Queen of Cups, you know, is a very deep card. It's a very loving, again, it's a very loving. So there's a lot of love in this situation, in this connection. There's a lot of deep feelings in this connection. It goes very well with the uh, Cobalto Calcite, with the Pink Stone with the abundance, with the pink, you know, there's a lot of love, compassion, and I feel this person wants to bring back love and compassion, if there's been a temporary pause in that, or if there's been some kind of issue or argument or something like that, or you've come into separation, they want that back. Now, it could be as well that, you know, uh, with the four of wands here, that there is a commitment central to this situation, whatever it is, So, because I'm just seeing a family here, so you might either be in a family and committed situation with this person, or there may be something like that going on um, in the situation with you. Um, but they definitely want a new beginning or a start that's based on truth and honesty. It's based on truth, honesty, because that is what the Ace of Swords is. Swords is all about communication. So they might want, if you haven't been, if you've had a disagreement and you're not in communication with them, they want in truthful, honest communication they're wanting to start up truthful honest communication but at the moment they might just feel there's a little bit of defensive energy coming from you or in the connection somehow with the nine of wands here because the nine of wands like i say is a bit of a defensive energy it's somebody standing up for themselves it's somebody standing firm standing strong um so maybe so that might be why they want the healing the compassion maybe they want you to be a bit compassionate or feeling the need but there needs to be a bit of compassion in this situation, a bit more love in the situation. But in terms of the actual, their feelings for you, that they still have very strong feelings for you. They still see you in a very uh, deep, um, loving way. I'm just noticing this Queen of Cups holding out this actual cup. And I feel like they want to offer that cup of love to you. They definitely want, they see you in that way. So that's kind of what I'm seeing here for the general energy of the connection. Now, what in terms of astrological signs here, Queen of Cups could be Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Four of Wands, well, that is um, uh, Aries energy. Ace of Swords could be any of the um, uh, air signs of Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. And Nine of Wands is Sagittarius energy. So let's see. So that's kind of the general. That doesn't feel like your situation 
then it might be another pile. But I definitely feel there's definitely love in this situation still. You might have had a temporary pause, a temporary blip. There might have been some arguments and disagreements. Either you're with them in a committed situation, um, or you're, you know, they, you or them are in a committed situation, but you both have feelings for each other. Um, but there's something that's caused it to have a little bit of a need for healing and um, show compassion and love to each other and maybe a little bit of self-love here. But there are still feelings in the connection. That's, that's kind of what I'm feeling here. So what is pile number one's person's deepest desires? What are their deepest desires? And what's going to be their next move with pile number one? What is their deepest desires for the connection? And what's going to be their next move? So we've got the Page of Swords. What is their deepest desires? Next move, really, with pile number one. We've got the Six of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and what we've got on the bottom of it, and Temperance. Okay. So, I mean, I think in terms of the overall um, <clears throat> deepest desires I feel they want balance I feel they definitely want balance because temperance so if you've come out of alignment with each other and I feel like there might have been some kind of misalignment or some kind of issue here in some way um, with the balance with the temperance card I feel like they want to um, bring it bring some abundance back into the situation they want the situation to grow again and for there to be balance now it might mean that there needs to be um, some sort of because um Temperance can often mean, you know, it's like a sort of alchemical process, isn't it, of mixing and blending just to get exactly the right, um, you know, things in exactly the right way for things to be balanced. So there might be a little bit of, you know, differences between you or issues that have come up where you have to really kind of figure it out and work it out and get the right blend. It's something like that. But they are confident. They want that to happen. So I feel like their deepest desire at the moment is for the situation to be back on track. For it to be back on track to be for it to be loving again because for it to for, for them when the situation is loving then they feel balanced and it is a sense of balance um temperance can also mean things in moderation so maybe there's something about that just a message for some of you maybe there needs to be something done in moderation or there needs to be behavior or thought in moderation um maybe it, there was something too much of something before with the abundance card here Maybe it was just a bit too full on or something like that. And there needs to be now moderation to, to kind of balance it out a little bit. Um, but they definitely want that. Now, um, in terms, I mean, they're definitely, if you are in separation, they're certainly still curious about you because the Page of Swords is a card of curiosity and gathering information. It can be a card of message and communication. So I feel like they definitely want to communicate with you if you're not in communication with them or if there's been a bit of a a row or a disagreement or something like that they definitely want now again with the six of pentacles that can talk about a, um a sort of give and take energy so I, I feel like in this um in this spread their desire is for there to be again a more balanced give and take kind of thing maybe there was an imbalance before and that's what caused the disagreement maybe there was somebody was giving too much to the situation um, and the other person wasn't reciprocating that and it caused it to come into separation or something like that. That might be going on for some of you. But now they definitely want it to be a more balanced situation. Their desire is for it to be a more balanced situation. And it might have something to do with it being more truthful and honest. So maybe it's, um, you know, a three-way situation or something like that. They're wanting it to be more open, more truthful, more honest and more reciprocated. So giving more to the situation and for both of you to be doing an even amount of giving and taking, something like that. Now, they might be frightened um, that it has, it has kind of, they might be worried because the ten, of, um, the ten of Swords is like an ending of a situation. So it may be um, that there's a bit of stress with it, but also... Their intention is to end a cycle. And endings of cycles always is about beginning new ones. And it comes right under the Ace of Swords. So maybe they their intention is to end something, to begin something new, to start something new, based on authenticity, based on truth, based on um, being honest. Uh, yeah, so something like that. So maybe if this is for some of you, you're in a, you know, you're in a situation where you've been involved with a person and they've been committed elsewhere, I feel like they know... They now realise that something has to end in order for you and them 
to um, move forward. There needs to be an ending of something to create a balance for you and them. And I think that's what they want. Or maybe it's just because, you know, out of this ending with you, if there was a disagreement or an issue out of this ending, they want the Ace of Swords because 10 cancels down to one, Aces can be one, a new beginning. They want a new beginning. So out of the ash, and this is often this card of the Ten of Swords, is where something looks dead in the water, but in a lot of the decks, you always have this kind of little horizon here. Um, and out of that, something shows that there's hope for something new to begin. And you've got the Ace of Swords right here. So if there's been any disagreements or problems or issues, they want to rise up from that and have a new beginning. That is their uh, deepest desires for this connection, to communicate with you, to get back on track with you, to have an abundance of love with you again, to get back to being happy with you, because the Four of Wands is about celebration. We also have rabbits in this as well. Now, rabbits is also a symbol of abundance, of multiplication. So it feels to me like they just want things to grow and multiply with you. They want the emotions, the love to grow and multiply. They want, And if it means that they've got to give a lot more to it, then that's what they're going to do, because this is the card of generosity, as well as a card of give and take. They, you can see them actually giving something here. They want to give more to it. They want to, to, to show more, really. I think that's kind of what their intentions are. But let's have one more. I feel the need to have one more card here on their deepest... And what is their sort of next move? So what is going to be number one's next move? Num no, not number one's. Number one's person's next move. Please, please tell me what is going to be number one's person's next move. Friendship. Successful couples are good friends. Yeah, I feel like with the agree to disagree, what they're looking for is to build up the connection. Is to build up the connection and maybe give it a firmer foundation. And it goes with the love, you know, in all its many forms, unconditional, you know, love of friendship, passionate love, romantic love. Love can come in many different forms. So I definitely feel they want a romantic connection with you, but they, I think they, they're feeling that going forward, in order for maybe for it to be more balanced, it has to have um, a firm foundation, a strong foundation of friendship, where there's a bit of give and take, where you understand each other, where there's compassion, you know, like you have with your best friend, you know, if something happens between you, then hopefully you try and talk it out. You know, the relationship's worth it, you try and talk it out, you try and move through it uh, in some way. And I think that's what they want for you as a couple, because it says successful couples are good friends. So maybe their desire or their, their next move is to come forward and to kind of build maybe a bit of a a firmer foundation for the connection, a firmer friendship for the connection, or to remember that at its core, you are friends. You know, you can agree to disagree, you can move forward from that. You know, at its core, it has a firm foundation of friendship, and therefore you can move forward whatever hurdles or issues there might be going on at this point in time. Let's see what else we're going to have. A couple more messages, and then we're going to leave it for pile number one. Please, can you give me a couple more messages? are relevant for pile number one i will wait for you sorry i will wait for a sign from you now with this defensive energy of the nine of wands they might be looking and the ten of swords here where they're, they're kind of like a bit worried and just they might be looking for a bit of a sign for you if you want to give it pile number one um i hide behind the material things so maybe with the six of coins here because that is a card of generosity it's a card of wealth um you know maybe for them they're comforting themselves by sort of, you know, because sometimes we can get into that, can't we, where we sort of looking for comfort and solace from things, you know, things, rather than, um, you know, um, a sort of a deeper spiritual sort of happiness, if you like. Uh, let's see. We all fall into that trap, you know, because we live in the 3D world, we live in the material world. Uh, so let's see, one more message for part number one. I regret lying to you. So that might mean something to some of you if there's been some kind of disagreement or there's been some kind of issue that's caused this to have a, uh, a bit of a bump in the road or a split or, a, or, some, some, or come to an end in some way. There's regrets here. And I feel like this person, with all the rabbits, with the abundance, with the love, the compassion, they want to build it up again uh, with you. And it, it needs to be maybe like as it has with a friendship, a bit more give and take, a bit more open, a discussion of feelings, um, you know, um, but also remembering that friendship in any relationship is at 
should be at its core. But anyway, part number one, that's been a reading. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then please do hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, so you never miss an upload. And I will see you in your next reading. Bye for now. Hey, pal number two, welcome back to your reading. Welcome back to Rainbow Tower UK. And today's reading we're doing are, well, you know, what is their deepest feelings, um, or sorry, deepest desires for you and the connection? And what's going to be their next move uh, with you? So let's see. So you chose to come into the reading under this crystal. And this is actually the pyrite crystal. And there's key words for this are luck, prosperity, and success. Um... It basically is a stone that attracts abundance, wealth, and prosperity, but it's also known as the fool's gold, so it's not the real thing. Uh, that might have some meaning in for you in this reading. It's called the fool's gold. Um, but it does, it is about encouraging you to follow your dreams um, and your desires. So let's have a look and see. It's also got a fire element to it, um, because apparently when it's struck against a stone or a metal, it can create fire um it's a powerful protector as well so it relates to as you might expect it relates to the astrological sign of leo uh you know leo the lion and also that connects to the sun doesn't it and the, the planet mars so that might mean something to you so let's have a look here so it attracts abundance it attracts wealth uh but it's also known as the fool's gold so here we have the tiger's eye so i've also pre-shuffled two oracle cards here let's have a look and see what they are Oh, so we've got security. And we've got fire there, haven't we? We've got a little fire there. So fire, fire. So there might, I mean, there might be, um, there might be uh, some heat in this situation. There might be a spark in this situation. This might be, a, you might be talking as well about um, an attraction situation where there's a spark. But it says security. Let's have a look here. Heat, warmth. Um, honesty. Relationships need trust. Relationships need trust. And with this, what I'm thinking is with the security, and, on, and so for some of you as well, this might also be um, a situation that is not together or it is coming into separation, and that this person um maybe feels like something has happened or there maybe there's been a breakdown of trust and um in order for it to feel more secure and stable again there needs to be honesty or there needs to be trust or they're wanting more security and stability in the situation and taking it to a deeper level a more trusting kind of level and maybe with the fool's gold here it hasn't had that before it hasn't been the real thing as such it hasn't provided that stability that security maybe and they're wanting with the with the pyrite again to um put it more on a more secure footing on a more stable footing on a more prosperous footing um maybe they want to protect it as well there's a sense of protection um because in this little cave here with this little fire you know you're sheltered you're protected uh you've got everything you need um, something like that. But anyway, let's see. So what, what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to get a sense of what's going on in the connection so that you can see if this is your pile or not. And then we're going to look at what is their deepest desires and sort of next move with you. So can you please tell me what is actually going on with pile number two and their person right now? What's the current energy for pile number two and their person, please? Can you tell me? Three of pentacles... Five of, no, three of cups, sorry. Oh, three of cups, three of pentacles. And the magician card here. Right, okay. And the overarching energy is the four of wands. So I feel like in this situation, um... It's interesting, actually. I mean, I feel like currently the situation might be um, either some kind of, you know, 
situation which has with the fool's gold here which has not quite quite come into being the real thing so maybe it's in its initial stages or it's like it's in a crush situation or an attraction situation because you've got the three of cups centering it and the three of cups is all about you know joy happiness keeping things light that kind of thing maybe so maybe it's somebody that you know in your social circle that you're asking about or somebody um that you kind of know in a social way or it could be through work with the three of pentacles here so maybe it's a crush situation at work um where you talk to them you chat to them there's a lot of collaboration there's a lot of mixing together um there's a lot of sort of surface communication with them but in actual fact with the magician card here and with all the other signs here of security wanting to make it stable wanting to make it more real i feel like there's something about wanting to make it more real there's something about wanting to manifest something here wanting to manifest a proper connection um with you and maybe it's you know with the relationships needs trust it could be that you know they just don't know you well enough so they want to make it want to get to know you a bit better they want to develop a deeper relationship with you um, and at the moment it just feels to me like because there's a lot of people in this it might just be surrounded by you know um other social situations or you might not be in a, have an opportunity to kind of get to know each other on a kind of deeper level because the overriding issue the overriding um energy is the four of wands which makes me feel that this is, um, you know, that the, the, the they want a really committed relationship with you. Because the four of wands can talk about marriage. Or it could be that you are in a settled, married, committed relationship with them. Or that you are in a, a connection with them. Um, and something has maybe happened to, um, to kind of unsettle it in some way. Maybe there's been a third person or a third party, because we've got two threes here, that have come to kind of interfere with it in some way or has interfered with the connection in some way. Or maybe you are that third person uh, in a, in, and they're in a stable, committed relationship with the four of wands here. Um, so it could be any one of those situations. So either it's kind of like somebody that you, you know you're attracted to, it's like a crush situation, but it's all a bit surface level and they want to, their, their desire is to take it to the next level to, 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 to give it more commitment and with the magician card here to to create something to manifest something or you're already with them you're in a committed relationship with them you're in a stable relationship with them but maybe something's interfered with it to rock its foundations rock its stability rock its security make it feel as if it's not um stable or secure anymore so something's happened there's been and there's a need for to rebuild trust in some way or it could be like as well, if it's a crush situation, it could be a work connection here with the three of pentacles, um, you know, because that's often a work of a kind of work and collaboration. So you might actually work with this person. Um, and like I said, there might be a lot of people around the connection. Um, <clears throat> or you are in a third way situation with them and they're in a committed relationship. So you're somewhere in that three way triangle, something like that. So that's what that's, I feel like the general energy of this situation is. Uh, but let's see what is their what is their um, so in terms of astrological signs with the three of pentacles well that is um, Capricorn energy three of cups um, uh, that is um, cancer energy uh, magician and the four of wands well that is um, Aries energy it's a definitely I feel like the overarching energy is it's definitely a significant relationship with the four of wands because that could be like a twin mate, a twin flame, um, a twin flame um reference really with the eleven eleven sign here. So it feels to me like the relationship is it's definitely significant. Now I'm being called to look underneath, and it's got the emperor here. So you might actually be married to this person because the emperor is the archetypal father figure. The archetypal it's also the archetypal manager and boss figure because the emperor is somebody who's in charge somebody who is um managing something somebody who's got a really strong handle on their work their career they're very driven they're very ambitious so it could be that work reference again so maybe this is uh you're inquiring about somebody that who manages you has some authority over you and you are liking them or you you like them or you are with somebody who's in that kind of position in their career you are connected to them but there's been some kind of um 
maybe some kind of threat to the security or the stability of the connection in some way. Um, I certainly feel with the four of wands that there's a lot of passion in it, or there's potentially a lot of passion in the fire, the both the references to fire in the pyrite and the actual fire. You know, the flame still burns bright in this situation, I feel, or potentially it definitely could do. But there's something maybe about it's so so something might have rocked its its stability, questioned its trust, you know, and there needs to be some honesty now. So what is power number two person's um deepest desires for this connection and power number two and their next move? What is their deepest desires and their next move? Strength, justice, ace of swords, okay. And page of rods, which is page of wands. I definitely feel um, that they want to put it right. So if something's happened here to rock something, or if something hasn't um, been acknowledged, or if something um, is just a bit of a fling, or something like that, or you're and you're in a kind of three-way situation with the, with the justice cards, I feel like they want to put it right. They want to balance it out. They want to. Um, make things right again so if it is a three-way situation because it comes right under the three of cups and for some of you it might be i feel like this person wants to put things right they want to um you know they want to bring security and stability back into the situation it could be something like that they want to bring fairness into it because justice is about fairness so if it's not been fair particularly with the honesty and the reference needing for trust, they, they want to bring trust back into the situation. That is their deepest desire. They want it if there's been some, so if there's been some, just getting the idea this might have been some temptations or some things that have caused it to, like I say, the security or the stability of it to be rocked. They want to, to get a handle on whatever those um, things were that might have affected the connection. Uh, because this this person is shutting the jaws of the lion so the lion represents or symbolizes any kind of threat um but they're trying to what they want to do is they want to try and collaborate with you they want to try and talk to you they want to try and do it reasonably and try and overcome if there's been any issues anything that's caused the, the connection to be unstable in any way um if it's, a, if it's kind of like a crush situation, I feel like they want to, yeah, they want to, they want to get a handle on the situation. They definitely want to take charge of the situation. They want to control the situation uh, in some way uh, for the better. Now, the magician comes right underneath the Ace of Swords. So they want this brand new, honest truthful open authentic beginning and it's interesting because we've got this honesty card here so if there has been a little bit of dishonesty or a little bit of um if there has been a lack of commitment as well so maybe in this situation for some of you there's been a lack of commitment um i feel like this person wants to commit now with the justice card the justice and the four of ones they they want to show commitment or they want to give commitment um, because the Ace of Cups is a brand new, honest, committed situation. It's authentic and it comes right underneath the um, Magician, which is about manifesting, bringing something into being there. The overarching energy is the Page of Wands. Well, the Page of Wands, again, is about a new beginning, a passionate new beginning. Um, the Page of Wands can talk about a message, because pages can talk about messages, can talk about communication. It can also talk about fun and sort of like frivolity in some way. So this person that you're inquiring about, you know, maybe they, um, yeah, maybe they've got like a very fun side to them, a very young side to them. Maybe they don't take things too seriously. Maybe they didn't take the connection too seriously. That might be why we have fool's gold in the sense that they haven't been properly committed to the situation. Uh, but I feel like they want to overcome that. I feel like they do actually want to overcome that. But I think they'll always have that, kind of fun-loving sort of um, side to them. And um, so that's just something to be aware of. So they might be quite, you know, uh, adventurous and quite sociable and, you know, um, maybe they like, you know, being a little bit flirty or a little bit friendly, but I don't feel that they want that ever again to rock the foundations of the situation if it has been rocked 
to some degree and I feel like it might have been in this situation and that they want it what they're wanting now is for it to get back to stability and security and commitment or they want that in the situation now in terms of astrological signs strength is Leo um, justice card is Libra in energy and ace of swords could be Libra Aquarius or Gemini so I'm just going to ask one question. So what is their next intention? What is their next intention for power number two's person? What is their next intention? Or what is their next move with power number two? What is their next move with power number two? Yeah, three of pentacles again. So it's definitely to collaborate with you. It's definitely to talk to you, to communicate with you, to work in partnership with you. Um... So maybe, because this is a card of, it is a card of collaboration, it's about, it's about somebody who is also a kind of master in what they do. So maybe it's about, it's, they, what, the, what their next move with you is to talk to you and to take you seriously. I'm, I don't know why I'm getting that phrase, but to take you seriously, to take what you're saying, to really absorb it, to take it on board and to be guided by it. That's kind of what I'm feeling with this. And they don't just want to collaborate with you, but they want to show you that your opinion, your view, what you believe to be right really matters to them and that they value that. I think that's what their next kind of move is. And certainly with the page of wants to come towards you um, and to work with you uh, in harmony, to be fair, I think with the Justice card, to be fair with you. So let's see what else have we got here. Is there any messages for pile number two? Uh, right now, the part of two situation, part of two in their person journey, be adventurous. So maybe this is something where you need to take a little bit of a risk again. Um, you know, maybe there needs to be a little bit of a risk. Maybe this situation is a little bit of a risk in some way, but it's about being. But this is saying, you know, it's a journey, um, and that you know, when we go on a journey, when we take risks, when we, you know. Uh, are adventurous that's when we maybe have the most fun and that's when we maybe learn the most you know when we come taken out of our comfort zone you know we can learn a lot we can gain a lot we can experience a lot and it can be for the better so maybe there's something like that in this as well i'm gonna put that there let's have some other cards here some other message cards for part number two in terms of their, them and their person what is you know, what's going on? What do they want to say? What's the messages that we have here? I know I messed up everything. So again, there might have been something here where something went on and they made mistakes. And I think they definitely have regrets now. They definitely have regrets. I hid who I really am from you. Yeah, I mean, with this Page of Wands card, this, the Page of Wands can be a little bit of a, of a sort of like a, um, a showman kind of energy. You know, Page of Wands and Knight of Wands, really. They're, they're sort of, you know... They're kind of very much out there. They're quite extrovert as characters. They're, um, they, you know, they often don't always show a lot of depth initially. They quite, you know, they can be quite surface level. So maybe this person is just saying, "Oh, yeah, that's not really me." Now I want to show you maybe my potential, what I can, my 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 more serious side with the justice card, my more committed side, something like that. Okay, my last message for part number one here. Is the last message for part number one here? I can't stop thinking about you. So yeah, this person can't stop thinking about you. I do feel there's a strong attraction here with the four of wands and with the page of wands because that is also a card of passions and got fire in both these cards. I do feel there's a strong attraction, strong passion. Um, a strong connection between the two of you for sure but anyway part number two that's been your reading I hope you've liked it if you have please do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you are alerted straight away whenever I do an upload but other than that I'll see you in your next reading bye for now hey part number three welcome back to your reading welcome back to Rainbow Tarot UK and in today's reading we're doing aren't we you know what is your person's deepest desires for the connection and for you and also what is going to be their next move so you chose to come into the reading under this um, lovely crystal it's the Lab labradorite and the key words for that are transformation magic 
and imagination. Beautiful, so beautiful that, isn't it? Apologies if you can hear a little yappy dog in the background. I've just got a neighbour who's got a few little dogs and <laughs> they are lovely dogs. I mean, I love dogs. I absolutely love dogs. Uh, but they can be a little bit, they can be a little bit loud. So just to sort of be aware, they've literally just started barking and yapping. So maybe your person here wants to be heard. Maybe your person here wants to be heard. That's why I'm hearing it, because I didn't hear it in the other two readings. So maybe your person wants to be heard. Maybe there's something like that. Maybe there's a message for some of you. So we've also got two other um, oracle cards that I've pre-shuffled. Oh my goodness, lovely. Oh, now this, anything with rainbows in it, obviously is, you know, um, fine by me. So this says miracles with a double rainbow this, this card is like anything is possible that's that's kind of you know believe in your dreams it's funny isn't it because this one said magic so believe in your dreams believe in magic you know rainbows um anything is possible you've got the double rainbow what do you get at the end of the rainbow a pot of gold you know it's like follow that dream follow that magic follow that um you know follow you know wh where it's going to take you really so that is kind of what um, I feel like your person feels that they want, either they want a trans maybe they want a transformation in this, or maybe they want this um, situation to be different, or to, um, I feel like the, the dogs are going bad at the moment. I don't know if you can hear them, but it just makes me feel like this person really wants you to know, somehow, they really want you to, to notice them, they really want you to hear them, I think that's what's going on here. And they really want you maybe to recognise the magic in the connection, the um, love in the connection, maybe something like that. Um, and that this connection is full of dreams for them. You know, it's full of dreams. I'm just that's so beautiful, those colours, aren't they? Those rainbow colours there. Um, OK, so we've also got this beautiful card here that says affection. Affection, sharing, sharing affection creates a loving bond. I feel like this person really does uh, want to show you affection, wants you to believe in the connection, wants to uh, know that, you know, wants you to know that anything is possible, that, you know, it can happen or something like that, um, you know, that you can have your dreams. I don't know if I said this also can, relates to Leo, Scorpio and Sagittarius, that might mean something to you, but um, this also says, you know, chase after your dreams, align yourself with the vibration of anything is possible. So maybe this, you know, this hasn't happened in this situation before. It seems like it's a situation that can't come into being, or it seems like it's something that could never happen, or it's, it's, it seems like it's out, you know, there's no way that could happen. I just feel like um, this person is wanting you to know that they, you know, that it is possible, that they do, and it is, you know, it is a dream that they want to follow. Um, it might be a pretty spiritual connection as well, because I'm just getting with the two rainbows as well as this very high cliff it's like you know high mountains high cliffs connections to the sky connections to the stars you know that they're, they're yeah i think it's in some ancient cultures you know they believe that it's you know that you you are you are closest to the stars you are closest to the gods so maybe they want to elevate this connection in some way something like that um it feels very positive actually but let's see what I'm going to do first of all is I'm actually going to just see what's, what what is going on. What's the current energy of the connection first? And you can see whether this is part is actually the right part for you. Just a big thank you if you've liked, shared, subscribed. Really appreciate that. It means a lot to me. And I try and answer and read all comments um, as best I can. So thanks so much for doing that. So let's see what is the current energy between power number three and their person right now. What is going on in the connection? What's the current energy? So I thought this one wants to come out, which is the Hierophant. What is the current energy between part number one and their person? Oh, not part number one. That might be a reference for you to listen to part number one if you felt drawn to part number one. Seven of Pentacles. What is the current energy between part number three and their person? Maybe as well, you know... Um, there's not much affection being shown in this connection. Now, it might be because you're in separation, for some of you, because it says showing affection creates a loving bond, so maybe there needs to be a shut, or maybe it needs to come to light. Maybe it's something that hasn't come to light yet, or 
um, you know, you need to show some signs or there needs to be some signs in the connection to show that you're interested in each other uh, in some way. Uh, or maybe there's been a bit of a block in terms of showing affection or showing that you like one another. Um, right. <clears throat> what is the general or the current energy for power number three? And their person right now, so that one wants to come out. Devil. Okay. And the overarching energy is death. So I feel change and transformation. And this actually said transformation, didn't it, on the Labradorite. I feel the overarching energy is that the situation might be in separation. So you might be asking about somebody that you're in separation from. Um, it might have it might have gone through um, cause the devil card um, is can be about limiting behaviors, limiting thoughts, um, where we feel sort of chained to something. We're allowing something to control us in a negative way, either a person, a thought, or something like that. So it might have been overshadowed, or it might be being overshadowed by. You know, sometimes it can be addictive behaviours or difficult behaviours which are controlling us. So in this situation, the overarching energy might be that it's, it might just be a connection around, um, for example, around lust or around physical, uh, just, just a physical connection at the moment. Or there might be an addictive, there might be addictive um, uh, behaviours in it or where you are codependent or something like that, might be going through patterns and cycles that are damaging or that are harmful and the overarching energy is that it needs to change and transform, so there needs to be so it might seem like a miracle is required or some magic is required in this connection to get it back on track or something like that or to bring it back really and it might have been that there was a lack of commitment because the Hierophant here is all about commitment. And so maybe there was an issue around commitment for some of you. This person didn't want to have commitment or, you know, you didn't want to have commitment. Or maybe you were both in or they were in committed situations or committed relationships, which meant that the, the situation had to be hidden. It had to be um, dishonest in some way or... Um, wasn't open and truthful in some way or something like that because slap bang in the middle we have the seven of pentacles which means it's on pause at the moment the situation might be on pause and that might be related in some way to commitment or lack of commitment or a, a limiting behavior or a limiting belief about the situation or some sort of addiction or something behavior or thought that was getting in the way of the relationship moving forward becoming more committed becoming more stable and you almost feel like my goodness you know there needs to be or maybe with the affection it was just all about um you know the physical side of the connection or what they could get from you that's maybe what you thought what they could get you know because the devil energy is very much about you know immediate gratification so maybe it was based on someone just coming and getting what they wanted and then go again going again there wasn't any true affection or any true show of love in this in this connection so maybe this person um, or maybe there's a need for miracles in this situation or there's a need for tr definitely a need for transformation and some imagination to get it back on track um, uh, and that that is at the moment that is kind of like a dream at the moment it feels like it will probably be a little bit of a dream in order for that to happen really um, so something like that, but the, with the death card here, I definitely feel like the situation might be in separation. There may be a pause to reassess, to reevaluate, because that is what the Seven of Pentacles is. But I feel like with your person, maybe they're feeling like it's a temporary pause. So maybe this is a situation that um, is on for them is on temporary pause. It's not a final. Um, for them, maybe they're thinking it's not a final ending, or maybe you're thinking it's not a final ending. Maybe, like I said, it's been a situation of cycles, of repetitive cycles where you've come together, pulled apart, come together, pulled apart, because there's a strong pull. Because there might be a bit, they might have a bit of an addiction to you. They may be constantly thinking about you, constantly, um, you know, wanting to be with you. But it, it's like a sort of a, it's like a bit of a drug in a way where you get that hit. And then once you've had that hit, you kind of pull back a bit. It's a bit. It has a bit of a feel like that to it. So maybe that is what was going on um, in this situation. Now, if it doesn't sound like this is your situation, you might want to look at another pile or maybe another reading. But anyway, 
Let's see. So what would be pile number threes? Um, you know, what is their next move? And what is their deepest desire for this connection? And um, with pile number three, what is their deepest desire with pile number three? And what is their next move? Please, can you tell me? Three of Swords. What is their deepest desire? And what is their next move? And that's interesting. So that is Temperance. And the Fall. Mm -hmm. And the overarching energy is the Four of Swords. Okay, so I do feel like for some of you as well, this might have been a committed situation that came apart for some of you. Yeah, the Three of Swords underneath the Hierophant. Or it might have been that the issue was that it came apart because there was a problem around commitment or there was um, a breaking of trust in some way. Well, the three of swords here and that is why it came into separation it's like you need a miracle or you're feeling that maybe you need a miracle to uh, get it back on track there needs to be a bit of a miracle but it's like it does have this feeling that, that you know miracles do do happen you know that they you know to to maybe also think that it is possible it is possible to get this connection back if it's really what you want and if it's both what you want. So there is something like that. There does need to be a softer side to it. I think that's why we've got the affection card. There does need to be a softer side to it. So it's not all about just getting what you want and then going. There needs to be a softer side to it. Now, underneath this seven of pentacles, which is, you know, reassessing, I think your person realises... And throughout this reading, I've had a lot of references. I've had messages on my computer. I've had the dogs yapping. I'm, I feel like this person really wants to get to communicate with you. So if you're in separation from them, I feel like this person really does want to communicate with you. Now, whether you want to communicate with them, it's up to you. But they definitely do want to communicate with you. So underneath this Seven of Pentacles, which is usually a card of temporary pause to reassess. So again, I feel like, you don't, I feel like your person doesn't think this is the end. Um, they want it to be more balanced because temperance is about balance. Now, I think that temperance might have come up in pile number one. And was it in this that I said the reference to pile number one? I think I did. But temperance does come up in pile number one, I think, from memory. Um, and so temperance is about balance. So I think they're hoping that out of this time of reflection and reassessment or being apart, that they will be able to bring back balance in the situation. That is what they want. That is their deepest desire. Out of this heartache, loss, separation, that they can recreate balance with you and have a new beginning and have a new start. It might be a bit of a risk. It might be a leap of faith. Um, but they are wanting that. So out of this devil energy, so it might be as well that they, um, you know, that they want to start... I feel like if it's been a cycle situation, they want to try and break that sort of backwards and forwards. They want to try and break that habit because the devil is all about being a slave to your habits and often negative habits. I feel like they want a new beginning from that. They don't necessarily, they don't want that. But the overarching energy is the four of swords, which makes me feel that there is still a, a huge need for healing in this situation. I feel like maybe for you, pile number three, you need healing, rest, recuperation. There might have been a lot of really difficult, um, you know, behaviours in this with the devil card here and with the three of swords. You might have really got hurt. Um, so I feel that they their deepest desires is to create balance and is to have a new beginning with you. But in terms of their next move, I'm not sure that I see that happening you know, straight away. Um, and maybe they're thinking it would need a miracle or it would take a miracle to get this relationship back on track. But their desire is to have balance with you. Their desire is to have a new beginning with you. To kind of go back to innocence because the devil is sort of like a corrupt energy, really. It's an, And also it's an illusion. But it's, you know, the obvious symbol of corruption, isn't it? Whereas the fool is that innocence that you have at the beginning of the journey. So... It makes me feel that their deepest desires is to get back to, um, you know, an innocent, loving, genuine, honest connection. That's kind of what they want. But my sense is um, that they recognise that there still needs to be time for healing. 
time for rest, time for re recuperation um, in this situation, because a lot of stuff, you know, might have come, you know, gone on in this situation. It may be that they're of the, of the mindset. So it's like, it's like what I feel is like they see you as a dream, as somebody who they would love to be with, somebody who they would love to connect with, somebody who they, it would be like a miracle to be with again. But it's like it would need to change and transform dramatically for um, for you to maybe take them back or something like that. Um, and at the moment, what their sense is that there needs to be more time for healing to take place or maybe to give you uh, more space. Now, I'm being asked to just draw some more cards here on, you know, what is their next move? What is their next, what is power number three person's next move? With power number three, what is their next move? With power number three here. What is the next move? Full page of wands. The Empress. Yeah, two of wands. I feel, um, Two of Cups. Yeah, I, I feel like their their next move. I feel like what's going to happen is their their very next move is to let healing still take place. That is the very next move. They they know that some some big stuff has happened in this connection, and they know that they need to give you more time to heal from it, to rest from it, to recuperate, to recharge, if you like. Um, but. After that period of time, I just feel that they will come forward. That they, but I don't think it's straight away. I think that's what I'm going to say. I don't think it's a straight away thing. I think they will come forward with a message, and I think they will want to create with the Empress here again. They will want to manifest and create something with you again, something loving, because the Empress is a card of nurture and love and care, and it goes with the affection card. So if they didn't do that before, I feel like they definitely want to do that when they come forwards towards you. Um, but we also have this two of wands here, which is again about waiting, and that's why I've said I don't think it's immediate. I think it will be more, um, yeah, I think it will be more kind of, you know, um, there just needs to be more. It's funny because I'm getting, the reason why I'm pausing is because I'm getting, pages always, to me, are kind of one, because you've got page... Uh, knight, queen, king. So they're always the first. So you're getting one, two, three, four. So I'm just thinking maybe that's like, um, you know, you know, that you need like, you know, one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, one month, two months, three months, four months, something like that. So the four being the maximum and the one being the minimum. So something maybe between, let's just say between, you know, either one and four weeks, one and four days, or one and four months. That's kind of what I'm sensing here. There's that sort of need for you, depending on whatever's gone on in your specific situation, that there is a need still for rest and recuperation and recovery, really, from maybe what has gone on. Because the overarching energy is the two of cups. And for them, they see this as a big relationship, a significant relationship, but maybe one that they now want to develop a friendship on because the Two of Cups is about a firm, a relationship built on a firm foundation of friendship. And I think that's what they want to do coming back. They want to build up the friendship aspect, the friendship element of the connection. And at the moment, it might seem like it's a bit of a tall order, a little bit of a miracle that's required uh, to transform it into that because it might have just been based on you know, physical attraction or just been based on an addiction or a cycle or, a, um, you know, where you just got together and or it was a bit of a fling or it was a bit of an affair or something like that. But now I feel that they want to come towards you. When they come towards you, it's going to be around building it up in a more loving way. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. So with, you know, in terms of astrological signs, the three of swords, well, that is um, Libran energy. Again, balance. Temperance is Libran. No, sorry, temperance is not. Um... Temperance is Sagittarius. Uh, Four of Swords, that is, uh, again, Libra energy. So there's a lot around balance. I'm wanting to balance it out. Two of Cups, that's also about, you know, twos is also about friendship, duality, relationship, balance, that kind of thing. So there's a lot around transforming it in that way. 
But let's have some message cards to end our reading for pile number three. So do we have any message cards for pile number three in their person? To end the reading, what we've got here. You speak to me through music, so that might mean something to some of you. Uh, maybe they listen to a lot of songs, maybe you shared songs together, maybe certain songs mean something to you, maybe you remember them through songs, maybe they remember you through songs or music. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Now that would definitely go with the devil energy, which is all about um, you know, a false energy. Uh, what else have we got here? I am so attracted to you. Yeah, there is a strong attraction here with the Devil card. There's definitely a strong attraction to you. And also with the Empress, you know, there's a strong, you know, the Empress is a very, very, very attractive um, figure within the uh, Tarot deck. She's incredibly alluring. She's incredibly, not only is she loving, caring and nurturing, but she also has, you know, she's very physically very attractive. I'm just going to one more here. I want to be more than friends. So there you go. So they, so they want to also have a friendship with you, but they want to be more than friends as well. But anyway, power number three, that's been your reading. I hope if you liked it, if you have, please do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be aware of all my uploads as soon as they uh, you know, are published. But other than that, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye for now.